Hello and thanks for tuning in. On the menu today is a Thai baked coconut custard pudding. This is a very traditional Thai dessert that is a bit of a cross between custard, a flan and a cake. It's very sweet and soft and it's so good that you could easily eat multiple portions in one sitting if you're not careful. In this recipe we have topped the dessert with deep fried shallots. However, this is optional and you could even come up with your own toppings if you want. So on screen now are the ingredients. For full details on these ingredients, check out our blog post. I'll link to that in the description box just below this video. But as you can see, very simple ingredients. You should have most of these already in your kitchen. Okay, so let's get started. First place six eggs, one cup of coconut milk, one cup of palm sugar, three tablespoons of white sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt into a jug and just mix everything together thoroughly. Next, steamed the sliced sweet potato for about 20 minutes until it's soft. The exact length of time that you need to steam it for will depend of course on how thinly you've sliced it. So whilst the potato is steaming, just deep fry three sliced shallots on a low heat, just until they are golden brown. We're using a low heat here as we don't want to burn the shallots. And once they're done, just scoop them out and set them aside on some paper towel just to absorb any excess oil. By now the sweet potato should be cooked and soft, so remove them from the steamer and then just mash them briefly. Then add the egg and coconut mixture that we made earlier, and use a hand blender just to blend everything together until there are no lumps, and you're finally left with a nice smooth mixture. Place the mixture into a wok and then heat on a low heat while stirring continually for about 3-4 to four minutes just until the mixture thickens a bit. Finally, rub some cooking oil onto a non-stick baking dish and then just pour in the mixture. Place the dessert into the oven and bake at 350 degrees for about 20-25 to 25 minutes. Again, the length that you need to bake it for will depend on how deep the dish you're using is. So once the dessert is cooked, remove it from the oven, sprinkle on the shallots or whatever topping you want to use, cut the dessert into portions and then serve and enjoy. So we hope you enjoyed this very sweet dessert recipe. What is your favourite Thai dessert? Do let us know in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in seeing more Thai and Asian inspired recipes, do subscribe to our channel. We're releasing new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you again on the next video.